the number one in Springfield at six. This is KRIB TV 13. Broadcasting live from atop Hangman Alley Hill. Going green with battery powered wind up five watt transmitter. With Craig Ship at the controls and I'm Peter McDermott. This is Springfield News at six. Okay, and right off the bat, we have some breaking news, and we've got Tom. He's been in the newsroom working on this for the last 15 minutes or so, and he has confirmed sources. You go ahead and break it now, Tom. Yeah, I have uh, very good sources that uh, we thought HP was getting out of the computer business. They were getting out of the PC business. HP has decided to uh, do a hostile takeover of Apple and has succeeded. Um, that's why uh, one of the terms was that Steve Jobs stepped down as CEO before this happened. Okay, so it's August 31st, and you have breaking news that this is a done deal. Um, do you have any details on, on whether or not there are any regulatory uh, agencies that need to approve this, or is this just a done deal as of tonight? No, this seems to be a done deal. Uh, I think the uh, federal government's too busy with... Um, with the AT&T buyout to even notice this one happened. Okay, so this is a done deal, breaking news. We just started the broadcast, and we understand from Tom that um, HP, Hewlett Packard, has purchased lock, stock, and barrel Apple Inc. Um, and that includes their iPad division, their iPhone division, all the computers, everything, lock, stock, and barrel. Excellent breaking news. I understand you have to go and, and get some more details on this, and you'll be reporting later on, possibly at the 11 o'clock hour, but this is absolutely a done deal. Yeah, I have, uh, I have some uh, sources to go back to on, an, on uh, another couple Skype calls here to make sure everything's uh, up and up, but yes, this seems to be a done deal. All right. Well, and we've also had uh, Kendall has uh, joined us here. Um, uh, just in the nick of time, we just started our, our broadcast, Kendall, and we've just broken some live n news here uh, from Tom, and Tom's going to have to step out to uh, check some more sources, but evidently we know now it is confirmed that HP Hewlett-Packard has purchased Lock, Stock, and Barrel, Apple Inc. Um, do you have any more details from your sources, Kendall? I know you have a lot of inside sources at both Apple and HP. Can you shed any more light on this? Well, yes. Uh, today I was on the phone with uh, Tim Cook, who's a fellow Auburn graduate, and as you know, he only you know responds to emails from Auburn graduates. And um, he, and he, I called him up and I asked him about it, and he said, "Yes, not only are we going to be part of HP, but we're going to scrap OS X." And um, we're going to run a special version of Linux on all Macintoshes starting uh, one week from now. Wow. So, okay. Well, this is breaking. Big news. This is the kind of breaking news that the viewers and, and listeners of Springfield <laughs> News at Six look forward to. We're Sorry, cutting now Kendall. to Joseph. We're cutting now to Joseph. Joseph. I'm, I'm afraid to have even more breaking news. Okay. The Hindenburg, I repeat. The German passenger airship, the Hindenburg, has just caught fire and was destroyed during its attempt to dock with its morning mask at Likurst Naval Air Station. It looks oh. like somehow the producer has switched to some vintage footage from, from Springfield News I back don't know almost how 100 all years these ago. So, are going to survive, so we don't know how that happened. We're going to switch we need over Charlie to Glenn. Chaplin. We're going to switch back over to Glenn now and, uh, and get his take on this breaking news and then I understand also that you're going to have some updates on the new hurricane that we reported on last night that's developing 520 miles or so southeast of Cuba and you'll have some updates on that as well so go ahead and uh, roll with it here Glenn. Yeah thanks uh, Bob. Uh, HP I think is uh, going to be taking over Apple. Now you indicated that it was lock stock and barrel I haven't confirmed the lock or the stock, but I can confirm that there is a barrel involved. Uh, okay. It's a big one. It's uh, it's cylindrical. It's it's red. It has markings on it. Um, it I think it has like I think it's red because it has like an apple on it. Is it going to be called a barrel five or a barrel four S? 
It's a barrel 2.0. It's in actually it's currently in beta right now, okay. and uh, we're getting some details on that right now. Okay. Well, we're going to we have another breaking story. As if one major breaking story wasn't enough tonight, we're going to switch to Liz, and she's our entertainment editor. And I understand that she has a late breaking report regarding Michael Jackson. Um. Hi. Um. Apparently, Michael Jackson is not dead. He has been spotted at a small mall in a small town with Elvis having ice cream together. Apparently, uh, people overheard that they were discussing some sort of music deal. Uh, this ended up not so great because they went into, a, got into an argument over who really was the king. And they ended up in a scuffle, at which point the police were called. Um, there have been unconfirmed witnesses saying that there were little children who were throwing ice cream at them, but um, I have yet to confirm that. Okay, well, maybe we can get more details from Monica. She has some, some high-powered sources in Hollywood, and maybe she has some, some details that she can shed on this, this story. Uh, what? Evidently. I, I actually, I, I have no sources, but last I checked, the calendar year was 1883, and I... I I don't actually know how I got here. I'm I'm puzzled. What? Are you oh, that's right. About we sent you on a time apple? time traveling assignment. Do you ever oh, record? Oh, uh, somebody bought an apple back in my day. Apples were five for a nickel, and I tell you, we walked both ways in snow uphill to get them. Okay. Okay. Sorry, my mom. Well, that's that is interesting. Okay, so we're talking about a, a, an actual real apple here. A real so, apple. So are you saying that HP real? actually bought an actual apple and did not buy Apple Inc? I believe they purchased this apple and they paid far too much for it. I believe 10 cents was exchanged for the purchase of this here apple. Okay, so that sheds a whole new light on this, this apple purchase. All well, the way I, just, around. I just got off the phone. Tim Cook called me back, okay. and he said that um, not only were they going to start running Linux on all the Macs, they're going to put Android on all the iPhones, so and app and and the iPads. Android. But, okay. Yes, they okay. were just wiping them out, and and uh, he said that if he had any more to share with me, he would be, you know, calling me. Is he willing to come on the broadcast? Um, you know, I don't think I don't think he's got time right now because uh, they're getting ready for the uh, um, the the uh, the press conferences and all that stuff. Okay. But since he and I are homies, you know, he hooked me up. You'll get so. some more inside reports later, Joseph. Yeah. Let's let's cut to Joseph and see what he. It looks like he has some some further details. News flash: Local vigilante Johnny Appleseed is planting apple trees all over everyone's yards. Watch out for this wiry vigilante. Okay, so we have a lot of apple news tonight, and um, we're going to cut to our first commercial uh, while the reporters gather even more details on these earth-shaking stories. Glenn, you have the first commercial of the evening for us. Yes, I do. Would you like to go ahead and run one with that now, or? Sure. Okay. Go for it, Sonny. Oh, it's me. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, um, you're on camera there. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, free subscription to this this magazine. If you uh, if you uh, I don't know, you call in next three minutes, five minutes, or something like that. Take your time. We got plenty of them. Okay. We probably don't have to give them the phone number because that's on the website. Lines are now open. Yeah, they can just. No, my the, phone number. They, they, well, they can get the phone. No, don't give your phone number, uh, Glenn. They can get the phone number on the website. Um, but I'm they, lonely. They can call that way. Um, and Monica, can you send it over wireless as well? Sure. Frequency eight two four six eight dash six two three. Oh, good. They can send it that way. So, so Monica, I think you have the second commercial of the evening. I do. And uh, this commercial, this broadcast has been sponsored by this product, which I believe is useful for cleaning your teeth. I'm not sure. I've been investigating this entire household, picking up some things. I believe this is a food substance. You can buy it as well. Mm -hmm. um, 
they're useful. So we have a lot of good sponsors for this this program. We also have Frank's Carpet down on First Street, who's actually going out of business. And he's been going out of business now for 10 years. He's been having this going out of business sale. But this is the last weekend that you can get these prices. And uh, Glenn, can you give us some details on these deep discounts that you can get down at the, uh, at the carpet shop? Yes, I can. Um, you, can uh, you can get a, a shag carpet for, well, if you have coupons, you can get it a lot cheaper. Uh, you can get one of those, like uh, the ones with the red and the blue stripes mm -hmm. that uh, you can like hang on walls. And you know, if you're playing Pink Floyd and you have the the, the black light on. Um, yeah, down there at the going those. out of business sale. Yeah, that that's a that's a, a lot of good deals down there. And yeah, let's, you, can make, you can make. Um, we're going to switch to Liz here. We got an update from Liz. She's got some kind of a cool hat on. Go ahead, Liz. I've um, made my hat out of the uh, carpet that was on special. It was actually quite a good, good deal. You made that um, out of the carpet. On, I did, yes. In other news, um, Michael Jackson has got out of jail. Um, he was taken to jail after a dispute with Elvis earlier on. Okay. I've had confirmation confirmation from him that he's bought a small apple vending company um, that sells fruit, and they are apparently, so rumors say going to sue um, the Apple technology company for using their trademark as an Apple. So that might be one of the reasons why HP was able to purchase Apple at such a fire sale price. I understand they only paid five million dollars to purchase Apple. Maybe this is because of these pending lawsuits. Well, the whole country isn't worth that much. I'm going to switch to Monica and see. It must have been the, the uh, pending lawsuits. Well, I don't know about that purchase price. I am going to take a short journey into the future, and I'll return with your confirmed story and tell you how it plays out 10 or 15 years from now. So we have, we have the ability to travel in time now with this broadcast, and we're going we're gonna to switch to Glenn. Speaking of time, time is of the essence that we get a report on this developing storm. I understand it could be the worst hurricane in 350 years. That's yeah, I, I, actually, I'd like to say that um, I do have breaking news. The only problem is it's it's broken and it's it's all over the floor. Okay. Um, you've got a story about a governor and a laundry. No, that, the governor and the laundry. That's an actual story. Well, we're going to have to um, switch. Oh, While well, you figure line, that out, we're going to switch to Joseph here because maybe he can shed some light on the hurricane that's it's coming. All it's that mess. could be the worst hurricane in 350 years. Do you have any speculation? Hurricane Myrtle is bearing down on the eastern seaboard, 1850, and there's no one in sight. Okay, well there we go. Now, Kendall, can you shed some light on what might possibly happen with this developing storm? Well, uh, the storm is uh, coming so fast that uh, the, the scout planes are not able to keep up with it anymore and uh, I, you know I think that uh, we could look at a possible figure eight um, off the Atlantic coast. It, the, the prediction is is that it will do a figure eight mm -hmm. and then it will uh, it will get on the floor and walk the dinosaur. That's okay. what I'm hearing. Okay well Monica's back. She's done some traveling. She's been to the future. She can tell us exactly what's going to happen now. Yeah. Oh, well, I could have. Unfortunately, you said that last sentence wrong. You're going to be setting history off in the wrong direction. Uh oh. Uh, we'll have a dictatorship 15 years from so, now due to that last. So sentence. I could have actually just changed history, just changed the if future. You, if you'd ended the sentence with an it, we would have been living in utopia. So I. Maybe you can change it back. So. That's a good thought. Maybe we can go back and change it. Well, I'll, I'll put my time travel machine up to the computer and I spin the world in reverse. And uh, you need the man of steel to fly backwards for that. <laughs> All right, Glenn. What do we what do we have over here? Look, look at this. We've got a wild wild critter there in in Glenn's office. Well, I can't explain it. Um, I think it's probably part of the new beaver rule. Um, 
I think time has changed. I think uh, something uh, something in the time uh, vortex has changed. So we're all beavers now. Um, we took over the human race. I'd say about 20, 30 years ago. So um, I don't know. I'd. Uh, Okay, well, at least I can right. see. That's a sophisticated looking beaver. Okay, Monica, do you have a, a comment on this? Uh, unfortunately, I, I am forsworn to tell the truth, and I do declare that he is right. Uh, unfortunately, the only method of transportation on the planet is now by toothbrush. Toothbrush transportation. What are you going to do? Okay. Well, well, yeah. As like long as it's better than the Ford Model T, I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> We are really breaking some news here. Uh, let me switch to Liz real quick and see if she has any further details on the arrest and then a release of Michael Jackson. And you said also Elvis Presley? Uh, they were both taken into custody at the time and it appears Michael Jackson got out and Elvis had some problems proving his identity. Apparently okay. there were issues with him using someone else's identity or something along the lines of but somebody said that they'd seen Elvis up the road the real Elvis and someone else said okay that, you know, so there were other reports there was, like, Utah, there was a real Elvis and in Las Vegas there was all these Elvis guys and we we may have to get those additional details at the 11 o'clock hour um, meanwhile we're gonna switch to Kendall for one more update he's actually gone down and he's at the live remote at uh, Frank's carpet shop the, 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 where they're having the going out of business sale that they've actually been going out of business now for 10 years um, and they've got they say this is it this is the last weekend of the sale is that true yes um, also yes that's correct uh, this is the very last weekend um, until the sale next weekend and then um, Wait, we, but, weren't, we weren't really supposed to say that Kendall we're supposed oh, I, to say was, that this is the last weekend oh, I'm sorry Remember we've been doing this now for 10 years I understand. Okay, so this is but, the last um, weekend. Okay, go ahead. They did want to talk about their their quality Berber qual carpet that you can also use to exfoliate your skin. Mm -hmm. um, they're selling small uh, sections for uh, exfoliation, or and um, they're selling longer sections that you can use as uh, cat scratching posts. Okay. Um, so so um, Berber what about carpet, beaver beaver scratching posts? Can well, it be used? I have, to you could use it for beaver. So I say beaver, but but there there is I've, I have some beaver news as well. Um, there is a problem with um, now that beavers have this new position in society. There is a beaver cleanliness problem that there are uh, that beavers are having a hard time keeping themselves clean, and um, we and there is a real concern that there aren't enough clean beavers. Um, yeah, the, the beavers are not being cleaned mm -hmm. in a proper fashion. What There's about Justin Bieber? Beaver. Okay, what yeah, about Monica Justin Bieber? has a comment about Justin Bieber. Well, I don't know. Uh, I heard that he that uh, his beaver his he's a beaver that's not very clean. And that he's uh, but he's very popular with jo the young ones. Joseph, yes, yes. Justin Bieber reminds jo me of a young Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> but I think I think beaver cleanliness is going to become an even more pressing issue. That people need to make sure that their beavers are clean. Okay, well that's all good news. Now, Joseph, did you have a a, a commercial for this evening? Yes. And now a word from our sponsors. I'm singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain. Do you have a girl that you want to impress? Well, go get some Gypsum's hair balm. Yes, real 90% tar that you can run through your hair and make it slick and flat as possible to put in your under your nice bowler hat. Nothing will impress the misses and misters, none other than Gypsum's hair balm. All yours for the whole low price of 10 cents. Okay, do we have a phone number the, the viewers can call? Yes, use a rotary, you have to use a rotary phone to dial 444-694. Okay, that's or, 444-694. There we go. Or Lincoln 2168 is the alternative number I have here. All right, we're going to go back one more time to Monica and see if she can give us an update on all these happenings and, and where we're going to be 15 years from now. 15 years from now. Well, quite frankly, you don't want to know. But the good news is, is that fresh fruit will take over the world 
and you don't have to worry anymore about governance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to have a lot of fresh fruit. Well, they'll be ruling the world. They're they're sentient. Okay, well that's good news. Then we we've, we've got uh, some fruit to look forward to, or fruits. Um, Glenn, uh, can you give yes. us a wrap up this evening on the hurricane? Because I know a lot of folks have been leaning forward in their chairs, just waiting for this update, especially those that live in Canada, because I understand for the first time, this hurricane may strike Canada first and then move from north to south, whereas hurricanes usually move from south to north. I understand this is the first time ever that this storm is likely to, to strike Canada and then move south. Can you shed that some is, light on that? Yeah, actually, I talked to a Canadian official early this morning, and he had no idea what it was a boot. Um, but he did say that he was going to uh, confirm if it was a boot. Um, he then offered me some bacon, um, but uh, I can't really give you the details on the bacon, but the storm seems to be heading the opposite direction than one it usually does. Um, also due to the fact that a hurricane's kind of a strange system to be going through a uh, um, a uh, non-coastal area like Canada. Um, but he did say uh, that it's not unusual because they get um, uh, they get fog, they get uh, tornadoes, and they do get frogs mm -hmm. yeah. dropping from frogs. the sky. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, we had the <laughs> We had those during the during the earthquake. Kendall, what are you what are you looking at now? Well, I think from here I can see the real reason why HP bought Apple. Yeah, I think I think that Apple, it, uh, their new campus, which they've already built, the one that's supposed to be shaped like a spaceship, yep. is not just going to be shaped like a spaceship. It's actually going to be a spaceship, and okay. it looks like it's compl already been completed. And what you know, they were going to uh, the city council to ask us the permission, but it looks like they built it before they got permission to build it, and it looks like it might be taking off. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know where it's going. Well, then that but, actually does explain a lot of things. And on that note, we are going to wrap this evening's uh, broadcast. And I, this I have is. A Go ahead. I have a breaking advertisement. Uh -huh. Okay, go yeah. ahead. Um, they just announced there's uh, Pamperin Plus. Um, Pamperin Plus, the best for relief of your pain, period. So um, once you go out and get that, if you have uh, coupons or anything like that. Okay, so that's a brand new sponsor to Springfield News at 6. And this I is... have one last piece of breaking news. Okay, here we go. Back to Joseph. The Macintosh Corporation has just announced a new product called Asbestos. Put it in your insulation. Put it in your toys. It's Asbestos, and it's indestructible. Breathe the goodness in. Asbestos. Okay. I have actually a counter piece of breaking news. Okay, counter breaking uh, news. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, I'd like to suggest that in addition to Asbestos, that everything be painted with a, a secure, thick coating of lead paint. I think it's probably the best thing for your children. Absolutely. Lead, lead painted asbestos is the new rage. All right. Nothing you heard will put it. hair in your chest. You heard it here first on Springfield News at 6, KRIP TV 13. And we will be back at 11 with full details and updates on all of these stories. And stay tuned to this station for breaking news anytime, anywhere. Thank you. Okay, now we're still recording, and we're going to do a, a round robin where any of you all that want to introduce yourselves to our listeners, you can do that. And I'm going to start all the way to the right here with Monica's spinning globe. And Monica, did you want to give your Google Plus handle? Oh, I'm a little embarrassed too after that. Okay, show. Monica is uh, incognito uh, tonight. Um, find me in the past or future. In the past or future, okay. Find her at Springfield News at 6 is where you find her. And then Liz. Um, I'm actually in the future because I'm in New Zealand. You're in the future. Okay, there we go. And we're back to Kendall. Yes, I am uh, a floating around in the uh, ether sphere. And uh, you can find my Google profile at plus Kendall Price. Uh, is that a URL? Um, 
Well, well not that's really. your that's just your 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 handle on Google Plus. Yes. Okay. Um, and say that one more time. Plus Kendall Price. Kendall Price. Okay. And Joseph Lee. I'm not sure what this whole Google Plus thing is, but you can always find me on Thomas Edison's latest invention, the phonograph. Go to the phonograph of P S Y C H two L. That's phonograph with a P. Okay, and Glenn. Yes. Yeah, uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter on uh, Glenn Rogers forty two, and then uh, on Google Plus is Glenn Rogers. And I have a blog. It's uh, Game View Fake Gaming News um, Print to Fit, and uh, you can find me there. Okay, there we go. And it is oh, I am Craig. Craigship.com is where you can find me. Thank you all for coming in tonight.